Hey, what's going on RV world? This is Cam Hilliard from Miller's RV in Baton Rouge once again to show you a new Winnebago product. This is the Hike 100. All right, so before you do anything else, go ahead and like this video. I always appreciate that. Subscribe to our channel, turn on our post notifications. We stay posting good stuff and I know you guys love it. So without further ado, let's check this thing out. Okay, so like I said before, this is the 1316 SB floor plan of the all new Hike 100. I love the original hikes. I like these even better. They're so over-engineered, it's awesome. So starting with that are the axles. So on this axle, you have a stub axle for each side torsion flex. So a stub torsion flex axle, and then also each wheel has a shock absorber. So the stub axle is good for on-road smoothness, and then your shock absorber is great for whenever you get off-road, get off a beaten path. It's going to make for a lot smoother ride when you're towing this behind your, your Jeep or your Tacoma or even the new Bronco. Um, it's going to do really, really well with that. Also, for a 16 from end of the trailer to the very tip, 16 foot trailer, this thing packs a punch. So, industry standard for a sidewall is an inch and a half. The Hike has two inch thick walls. Not only are they two inch thick, these are actually composite walls. So, on this Hike, you have the front or the both side walls, the front, rear wall, and the floor are all composite. So, composite material, it's not wooden, so it will never mildew, never rot moisture won't hurt it so you're not gonna have any problems with that i mean this thing I'm, not, I'm gonna say it over and over in this video this thing is so over engineered it's amazing so if you've seen the original hikes this is pretty similar you've got your brush guard here and they actually run this metal paneling up a little bit higher so it does really well for when you are off road especially if you're somewhere where there's like some branches or, or as the name gives it some brush that comes up this will keep the panel here and the brush guard will keep your fiberglass from getting scratched so i really really like that also, you can see, even though it is a, a living area 13-foot trailer, your awning pretty much goes the whole length. It's a really big awning. Also, all the Hike 100s come equipped with the Batwing awning. So with the Batwing awning and the electric awning, you'll get right around 200 square feet of outdoor space that's usable. So that's fantastic. I mean, it's <laughs> more space outside shaded than you do inside. So it's, it's really, really nice. Also, you've got your little workspace here. Fantastic for grilling. This will fold out as you've gotten used to with the Winnebago's. They typically don't make something that just has one function. What they do, and especially on the smaller units, they make things multifunction. I mean, they want to get make sure you get the best bang for your buck on everything that's on this show. So I absolutely love that. This, you can put a black stone here, run it to your propane, quick connect, no problem. You can store like your spatula, your grill cleaner, um, just different, you know, even, even some sauce out here if you want uh, and keep it all well organized there. So... Like I said, I touched on, you've got your LP Quick Connect there. It's gotten pretty standard with most trailers. It's standard on all the Winnebago trailers. Um, you've got a spare tire underneath that matches these Goodyear's. And actually, to speak on these Goodyear's, so all the micro minis across the line for Winnebago all come standard with a 15-inch Goodyear tire. Again, going back to how over-engineered this thing is, it's a small trailer, but you actually have a 16-inch Goodyear tire here. So going to give you more ground clearance and also you get more ground clearance by your axle. Since this is a stub axle, it doesn't go all the way across. So because of that, you get probably about five inches or so of extra ground clearance through the middle of this trailer. So, I mean, it's, it's really made for, if you use this thing to its capabilities, you're gonna be blown away. If you use this thing at a campground, you're still gonna love it. But like I said, it's over-engineered. This thing is ready to be used and abused, okay? So let's check out some of the stuff on the driver's side uh, and then we'll go inside and, and check out this beast. So now that we are on your driver's side or non-entry door side, you can see again this this brush guard in the siding goes up all the way around this trailer on the front and sides, not in the rear because we've got our two doors back there, but you're not going to have brush that hits that way going down the road. So we've got similar to, well really the same that we have on all our other Winnebago trailers, we've got our electric stabilizer jack all individually controlled. So like what a lot of competitors have, it's one button that operates both rear jacks and one button that operates both front jacks. It's not very convenient, and on top of that, it doesn't really do a great job if one of the motors goes out. You can't compensate by making one side a little bit more. Also, I talk about this every time. I think I talk about a Winnebago trailer, but I love the fact that these jacks have the motor mount on the inside because they have the lug on the outside. So if you run out of power, like if your battery goes dead and you're boondocking, or if the motor goes out, you can just hook a socket to that and lower your jack, no problem, and you get on with your trip. A lot of manufacturers will put the motor on the outside 
which it's still possible to, to get to and crank it, but you have to pull the motor off. So it just adds time, keeps you from camping. We don't like that. So we've got our 30 amp hook up here. We also have our park cable so you can put an external satellite or if the off chance you do take this beast to a, to a park, then you can just you know hook up to their cable. Um, so we had the area, the little workspace on the other side where you can cook with your Blackstone stuff. This is merely just, or purely just storage. You know, you can put tow ropes in here. You can put wheel chocks. <clears throat> you can put hoses. This is actually, I, I didn't even think of it. This is a fantastic spot to put a stinky slinky. Since you don't have to worry about putting it anywhere on the inside, just put it here. That's awesome. I, I like that a lot. Um, so we've got our hot water panel here. Outdoor shower, which I love. <clears throat> this one, we're really excited to do this video, so we actually haven't got the Batwing in, awning put on yet. We have that inside. But when you have the Batwing awning, it actually comes and you get all the extra space. Like I said, with this, the Batwing awning and the regular awning, 200 square feet of outdoor space. So there's a really cool thing you can do with the Batwing awning. So you can unzip a piece here. And since you have the outdoor shower, there's one Batwing awning part that will go here. And when you unzip it, Winnebago is actually put in a magnet, uh, a magnetic piece here. So it'll actually magnet to that and you can have your own little curtain and take a shower out here. That's something I've never even seen any cl anywhere close to on a trailer. Normally you have to buy those little privacy shades if you want to actually do the outdoor shower. So I really like that. The toy hauler style ladder, I'm a big fan of. I think it looks cool, one. And also it's, it's very usable. It's, it's similar to uh, what you'll see on a lot of toy haulers and all the Hike 100s will have this. So you've got your fresh water tank fill here, 31 gallons of fresh water. You've got your gray, gray tank dump there. You've got 26 gallons of gray tank. And then you've got your city water here. So notice I did not mention black tank. So in all the Hike 100s, you'll find they did this for all you, you people who get off the grid and also the people who don't want to wait in dump station lines, they put a cassette to them. So you've got a five gallon cassette tank in here. So instead of having to wait in the line at the dump station, if you know we're out in Moab and there's not a really an actual dump station anywhere close by, what we can do is we can go to mom and pop's gas station and just dump this in the toilet. They might look at you funny. They might especially look at you funny whenever you pull this thing out and then you treat it like a, like a suitcase. They might look at you like a total madman if you're walking through the gas station with a suitcase that's full of, uh, full of non-pleasurables. But that is one of the beauties of this Hike 100. So it's very accessible, it's very easy to use, and also you're not reliant on your standard campground facilities and stuff like that. I absolutely love the exterior of this. The interior is equally as impressive. So before we check that out, let's check out the back. We got a little surprise for you. All right, so. This was our surprise. So the SB floor plan has a toy hauler little garage area in the back here. I mean, this is unbelievable. Typically, I'm not gonna name any other brands, but when you have small toy haulers, usually they're not great quality. Like I said, this thing is completely over-engineered. So we've got our two inch thick sidewalls, composite material on the floor, all the, si all the, the front side and rear walls. Um, and then our TPO roof, of course. Also, forgot to mention, but this is a completely aluminum frame trailer. So we got aluminum studs throughout here, aluminum on the side, and aluminum across the roof, as well as the front and back. So fantastic quality. This thing is gonna, build, gonna be built to last and it's gonna be able to withstand whatever, whatever punishment you throw at it. So as you can see, we have a box holding this door and I'm standing in front of this one. This is really so far my only con uh, on this floor plan is that it does not come with anything to hold these doors open. Um, that's something that's a really honestly easy to add um, we can just add those magnets that they have on the on the little workstation areas above the fender flares uh or the wheel wells or we can do something else so that that's my only con so far i i don't like that but easy fix that's a 30 dollars fix and, and we can get it done like that but i really really love this it's unique there's not another winnebago that they currently make that has this they used to make the, the spider toy haulers that didn't last very long but this is this is really special I, i'm really a big fan of this. so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around and check out the inside and I'll show you some of the cool features that it has. So before we go inside, I forgot, I actually like, they put another workstation back here. So this is great if you're, you know, putting your bikes together, doing some maintenance on your bikes or, or dirt bike or whatever you have back here, even preparing a little dish. Um, and once we get these doors to stay open, this will be even more useful. Um, but then on the other side, if you're a Winnebago fan or a, a Jeep fan or anyone who likes outdoors, you've probably gotten familiar. These things have blown up recently, these Molly panels. This is awesome. You can tie gear to this. You can tie hatchets, book sacks, 
uh, you know, fuel cans, whatever you want. I absolutely love one, love these. Uh, I love that they put this in here. It's, it's again similar to what they have, actually the same, just different size of what they have on the Echo. So really big fan of that. The inside of this thing is just as cool as the outside. So let's go check it out. Oh wait, there's more. So if you see here, you actually have a two inch heat receiver. This is not for towing. We don't need to tow anything with this. That's a bad idea. But this is for bikes. So this can hold 150 pounds. So you put a few bikes on this, uh, depending on how much your e-bike weighs, may throw a couple e-bikes on here. Also, I've seen people put like the uh, little flat containers to store stuff in. You could do that also. Um, the possibilities are endless. But we wanted to make sure we pointed that out. I'm going to try to go inside now. It's hard to, to walk past this thing without seeing a feature that I, that I didn't even notice before. So let's try to go inside and show what it has in there. Okay, so now I'm inside the 1316 SP, and I like the inside just as much as the outside, no surprise. Uh, so starting off, we've got our convection microwave here. I absolutely love having a convection microwave. I don't really use an oven when I cook anyway, so I'm glad they just passed on that and put the convection. We also got gas and electric hot water heater. I'm a big fan of this. You'll notice this on all the other Winnebago travel, travel trailers. So the gas and electric allows you to, so let's say we're, we're off the grid, we can use our gas hot water heater with our 20 gallon propane tank, no problem. And then if we're at the campground, we don't have to worry about using any of that propane. We can save that for, for grilling and the furnace. Uh, instead, we can use the electric hot water heater. So that's very convenient. I always love that feature. Now it is a six gallon hot water heater, so not gonna be crazy long showers, but they get the job done and get you clean. So we like that. Um, also right here, you've got good storage space in here, our Winnebago manuals. And you'll notice this is a new thing they started coming with the Hike 100 too. This is a JBL Flip 5. I've actually got one of these at home. Fantastic sound quality, big loud boom, especially for a small speaker. So it comes with this. And if I remember correctly, I think it might mount somewhere in here. I can't exactly remember where. But they come with the speaker so you can use that outdoor. Um, and then also we've got a 12 volt refrigerator below. So I love the 12 volt refrigerators. They cool faster than your standard 110 propane refrigerators and typically they have less problems. Also, so you might notice not a whole lot of countertop space. Well, Winnebago thought about it, they always do. And we've got countertop space here. So this is prep food, your prep spot for your food, or even if you want to use it as like maybe like a standing desk if, you, if you're able to work remote from, from somewhere nice. Um, and then behind me, we've got a good sized sink. You've got uh, the little pool here for your handle on the sink head. And we've also got the wireless charger. You've got a custom to that. Um, so above me, we've got our 12 volt fan, help when we're cooking, um, cause we help when we're cooking if we put like an induction cooker there or if we just wanna cool us down on a day where it's not too, too humid. Um, now also in the bathroom area, one thing that I think you'll really, really like is the spacing of it. So I'm about 5'11 and I fit perfectly in this, don't have to sit on the toilet. So it is still traditional wet bath, so everything does get wet unless you were to add uh, some sort of, of curtain to prevent that. But I really like it. You don't have to sit on the toilet to shower, so I think that's a big plus for me. Um, and there's plenty of room in there. So I'm a big fan of that. It's a good size shower. Also, a lot of times with the smaller trailers, they skimp out on the hanging space. So typically when you go bigger, a lot of times you don't even always get more sleeping space in a bigger trailer. You get more storage. So it's nice to have the storage here, the storage below the sink, and also your hanging space here. So this is gonna be your closet space. This is a deep, deep closet, so you can hang good bit of stuff in here, store little Rubbermaid bins if you want, no problem. I, I really, really like that. Um, so we've got a standard 13.5 BTU uh, AC unit. Also, I forgot to mention, we have standard 200 watts of solar up top. So that's gonna help keep our house batteries charged whenever we're out there camping. Um, yeah, so I really like the little, the coziness of the kitchen area here. Let's check out your sleeping quarters and get comfortable there. Okay, so I'm in the bedroom area now. Uh, you can notice it's, like I said, I'm, a, I'm right around 5'11", and it's a little tight right here. Now, usually you're not going to be standing in here unless you're, you know, you're strapping something down or getting this ready. So, not a problem there. Uh, so, to set this down, so like I said, you've got your sleeper up here. You've got these two that will drop down. You can make them into a, 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 a sitting area here and a sitting area here. Then put your table in the middle. Now, this table is a freestanding table. You can take it outside and and use it as a workstation or, or use it as a table for eating, cooking, whatever you want. Um, oh, and I also just am remembering that I think I said outside that the gray water storage is 26 gallons, actually 25 gallons, so one gallon off, but 25 gallon gray water. 
Um, so anyway, back to this. So it's really, really easy to drop these. So all you do is you release the clip here. This is going to come down. Now we're gonna put our leg straight to give us some support. Put that there. Put that there. So this will come down. Now if we want support for the bedding area, we will also drop these legs that are here and here. So with this side made out, then this side will actually come down and make the bedding area as well. So you've got a full size bed here. I'm sorry, it's actually probably a little bit bigger than a full size, but this whole area is the bed. So whenever we just want to use it as sitting space, what we're going to do is move these legs out of the way. And then we fold this and voila, simple as that. Now for our table, it's got a little buckle that holds it in as well to keep it safe while we're traveling. So like I said, since it is a freestanding table, we can really do with this as we wish. We can take it outside, we can use it in the front of the unit, or we can put it as the initial design just right here in between our sitting area. So. And there we go. Just that easy. And sorry, I was a little cramped. This is the first time I put this table up, but really, really easy. And we sit, we're nice and comfortable, and we can do the same thing with the other side and turn it into a bed or turn it to a sitting area. I'm sorry, or turn it to a sitting area. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this Hike 100. I We've been waiting so long for these. They've I've been really, really impressed with Winnebago. Uh, I, I always am. I've, you know, you've seen my videos before. I'm very biased to Winnebago. It's what I grew up camping in. But I was really impressed with the way they approached this hike and really the way they approach a lot of their their new products recently. They've just getting, gotten a lot of customer feedback before rolling out the final thing. They did it with the Echo. They've done it with this. That's why it was delayed, obviously, because of supply chain issues too. But it was also delayed because they got a lot of different customer feedback. They had to tweak the suspension. They had to change things to make sure the people who are actually using it in the real world are really, really liking it and they don't have, you know, functionality complaints. So really impressed with it. I can't wait to take one of these things out and try it. Um, but yeah, so this thing is awesome. Just to wrap it up, so we've got two inch thick sidewalls, composite on the, all the sidewalls, our front walls and our floor. So all the other Winnebago travel trailers are gonna have three eighths inch tongue and groove plywood, which is still better than most manufacturers. But this, composite. I absolutely love it. Uh, we've got the bars on the front, the Nerf bars on the front, so you can tie stuff down to that. If you've seen the original hike, you're very familiar with that same type of bars. Um, so they continued with that. And got, that goes across the roof as well, so you can tie a kayak, or I guess you could put bikes there. It might be a little close on the clearance, but you can really use this in a variety of different ways. So, man, I, I am blown away by this Hike 100. I absolutely love it. Um, I think we've got the other videos out, so if you want to check out the other floor plans again, subscribe to our page, check out our other videos. Uh, yeah, stop by again. We appreciate it, guys, and as always, enjoy the journey. Hey, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Please let us know if you have other questions you want to answer, and if you have nothing else to do, watch one of these videos here. Subscribe so you know when more are coming out. Have a great day, and enjoy the journey.